Michigan coaching candidates if Jim Harbaugh were to decide to leave. You say, wait, I thought he made a statement that he's not leaving. No, he did not make a statement that he is not leaving. What he made a statement saying is he does not expect to leave or he is expecting to coach. Uh, he told a Charlotte TV news outlet, I think I will be coaching Michigan next season. So everybody, of course, flips out about that. And then he releases a statement, a public statement today, acknowledging the speculation. And he said, I expect that I will be enthusiastically coaching Michigan in 2023. It said, while that's a step forward from I think, it's still a large step backward from where Harbaugh was last winter when he said that he told A.D. Ward Manuel he was done chasing NFL jobs after pursuing the Minnesota to Vikings position. So, the statement, of course, says, uh, I'm aware of the rumors and speculation over the past days. College and NFL teams have great interest in all our personnel, from players to coaches to staff, and I truly believe this is a testament to the strength of our University of Michigan football program. As I stated in December, while no one knows what the future holds, <laughs> that should tell you something, uh, I expect that I will be enthusiastically coaching Michigan in 2023. I've spoken with President Santa Ono and Athletic Director Ward Manuel and appreciate their support of me and our program. Our mission as Wolverines continues, and and we are prepping for the 2023 season with great passion and enthusiasm. As our legendary coach Bo Schembechler said, those who stay will be champion. That is a non-denial denial. He did not say anywhere in there that I will not be coaching in the NFL. He said he expects to be the Michigan football coach, which means that we get to play the speculation game. And when we play the speculation game, we talk about the possible people that could replace him as the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines. So who are some of those names? Well, let's start on the staff. I think one of the reasons why Josh Gaddis left last season to join the Miami Hurricanes is because Mike Hart was going to be the interim head coach. He was going to be the guy that took over after Jim Harbaugh. Now, he is the running backs coach there. Um, I don't know if his health situation maybe changes that. Remember, he collapsed during the, was it Nebraska game? Was it? I can't remember which game it was. Uh, Indiana. It was the Indiana game. So he collapsed uh, in the first half of the Indiana game on the sideline. Uh, I don't know what the situation is there, so I don't know if that changes anything. Uh, Sharon Moore, he is the offensive coordinator, or the co-OC. Everybody seems to love this guy. Offensive line coach, great recruiter. Uh, is he prepared for something like this? That could be very, very interesting, All right. So those are the guys on staff that maybe you got to pay attention to. Uh, moving on. On from there, let's talk about ones that are outside of the program that uh, could be interesting. A name that gets brought up for every big job. I do want to go on and bring up Dave Aranda at Baylor. Now, obviously, he coached in the Big Ten at one point. He was the defensive coordinator at Wisconsin before he went down to LSU. Would he be interested in something like that? Would a 6-7 and seven season this year uh, wipe off any of the shine on him? I don't think so. I think he's still a, a hot commodity if you can maybe talk him into it. And I do believe that people understand there is a difference between coaching at Michigan and coaching at Baylor. Like, there just is. So, along with that, let's talk about some of these others. Let's stay in the Big 12. Matt Campbell at Iowa State. Now, this is an interesting, uh, for sure. Like, it, Matt Campbell is a, a good, good head coach. He had a bad year. Does that wipe the shine off of him? Do people think that he all of a sudden uh, doesn't know how to coach just because the personnel was not fully developed yet this year? Uh, this is a team that had a really good defense, played a ton of one possession games, and lost a lot of them. Basically, all of them, other than maybe the Iowa game. The guy knows how to coach. I think he'd be just fine in that role. Just fine. Let's talk about two that are being brought up, that are on all the message boards, etc., that are not going to be the head coaches. That would be Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer will not be the head coach of the Michigan Wolverine. That ain't happening. It's just not. And then the other would be Minnesota head coach P.J. Fleck. I, I think P.J. Fleck is a phenomenal football coach in the right situation. I don't believe the Michigan is the correct situation for him. So um, so those are the ones that won't be. Then you got the two Big 12 guys. You got the two guys that are on staff. Now, what about two that would be actually really good fit? That would maybe fit with the Michigan standard. That would maybe fit with exactly what it is that Michigan is looking to do uh, with their football program and their university. Dave Clawson from Wake Forest. He, everybody thought that he wanted that Stanford job. Now, the Stanford job has changed over the years. So I don't know if that's something that he was still interested. Obviously not because he didn't take the job. He's losing Sam Hartman. He's losing a lot of guys that have had a really, really good career with him. And, and it's been a great four seasons for Dave Claus. He's done good things to wake for. I think Michigan aligns with what he does academically, uh, culturally, etc. That could be a really, really fun one to go with. Uh, the other one, the guy that recently resigned at Stanford, David Shaw. He replaced Harbaugh once upon a time. And he did fantastic things. 
Now, obviously, things have not gone well over the past few years, so that would be something to pay attention to, obviously. But, eh, I mean, I think that we could certainly find a way to uh, talk yourself into that, right? David Shaw is still a good football coach. It's not like he forgot how to how to coach football. I mean, the NFL guys love it. Not to mention, he was at a uh, a higher end academic school, much like Michigan uh, prides themselves on being. So, yeah. This is somebody that aligns both culturally uh, and, and athletically with what Michigan tries to do. So the names to look out for, to me, the ones that fit the best, Dave Clawson and David Shaw. The other two to pay attention to from outside the program, Matt Campbell and Dave Aranda. Then, of course, you got the two in-house. You've got Sharon Moore and Mike Hart. And then, of course, the two that it's not going to be, and that would be P.J. Fleck and Urban Meyer. Those two are not going to happen. Psst. Hey, if you like this video... Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.